Yo, yo, yo! What's up, Pickle? And welcome to the Cole Perrin end of the year extravaganza. As you saw in the sketch right before this, uh, the turnout wasn't huge for the Photoshop contest, so I've combined them both into one video. I'm hoping that I somehow got the YouTube chapters to work, uh, so if that happened, you'll be able to click on the play bar to select which chunk of the video you want to go to. Uh, if it doesn't, then there'll still be timestamps in the description. We're gonna start with your comments, and then we're gonna look at the Photoshops. As another year comes to a close, it's always important that we take a moment to stop, look back, and really cherish absolutely fucking nothing. This whole year has been shit and led to nothing but pain and suffering. Like, what a shit way to start a decade, man. We're all so fucked up. Thus, for therapeutic reasons, I have asked you to comment below and tell me one thing you're gonna leave in 2020. Now, every year this list is usually full of just edgy jokes and self-deprecation, and don't get me wrong, it's there. But also something else I noticed was this year a lot of you guys have some really poignant stuff to say. Hopefully I can leave behind toxic and ungrateful family members. Guilt over mistakes I made. Shit happens, especially this year, you gotta keep moving forward. Smoking weed or vaping, gotta take care of my lungs. And then next he popped in, vaping fucked me up harder than joints for some reason. Made my breath shallower, need to quit that shit. I'm leaving being pushed around in 2020, need to stand up for myself. My fear of failure, unhealthy habits, naivety. Can't make stupid decisions now that I'm a mom. I'm leaving high cholesterol and heart pain in 2020. And people who call COVID a hoax and my current job, hopefully. I'll be leaving my lazy attitude, and this one's my favorite right here. No Hard Feelings says, in less than a week, I'm leaving my parents' house after 25 years, and I'm going to own my own house. Bro, shout out to No Hard Feelings. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. By now, uh, you would have been moved in, uh, so I guess all I gotta say is, where's the house tour? Yeah, some of you are also just down so bad. Leaving women. Love is hard sometimes. My dignity. Her. I'm leaving my virginity in 2020. Wait, never mind. I'm leaving my virginity. Thanks, stepsis. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could help you. Join my Discord where Kevin is setting up a matchmaking e-dater channel. Maybe he can save you. SFB in Beslan. I butchered that so bad. Says, uh... My weight. That's a good sentiment. But has anybody told you that's fat phobic? Myself. Gotta make sacrifices sometimes. Laziness and procrastination. Monster Sponge said, I'm leaving this comment here in 2020. And Benji says, I'm leaving a like and a response here in 2020. Tiger King, please. The only people that like it are out of touch celebrities. <laughs> My phone addiction. Nothing. 2021 is basically just gonna be 2022. Not, not like 2022, but like 2022, second 2020. I'm leaving you, daddy. Jack says, hopefully make a better username. You gotta commit to the bit. If you're gonna be called celebrity funny moments, you gotta upload celebrity funny moments. You should just be Jack, bro. Just be Jack the, Jack the shitter. Those heated debates I'd have with myself over whether the abolishment of time is a good idea or not. I'm leaving any hope of being straight. You'll be ready for Pride 2021. I left my hair. I'm a girl, so I always had to deal with stupid hair shit. Going into 2021 with a buzz cut and a dream. Unemployment, fuck that shit. This year I graduated high school. I guess I left that. Uh, and I also left toxic people behind, and I'm looking forward to the next year. Ah, oh, yeah. Congrats on graduating. Don't go to college. I'm leaving a dead body in 2020. New Guy Gaming says, uh, leaving my coronavirus positive test. Actually, it's been about two weeks since I posted this video. Uh, so New Guy Gaming, how are you doing, bro? <laughs> I hope these weren't his last words. Leaving behind my boyfriend. Sorry, Jake. That is probably the toughest breakup I've ever seen. Dumping your boyfriend in the comments of a dead channel. Yikes. I'm leaving my head because I'm cutting the fucking thing off. <laughs> leaving behind my procrastination for videos. Finna strive to be the next big meme lord in 2021. Yeah, I better see Coco on the trending page by February. I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm leaving you, Cole. I'm sorry I had to tell you this way. Short hair. Every single video on my channel is from three years ago when I had super short hair and I look awful. 
I'm never going back to that shit. Honestly, when I had really long hair, there was something super satisfying about it. I'm not sure what, it was a lot harder to keep under control, but uh... I you know what I mean? And Just Sadder is uh, leaving the instant mac and cheese this year. You are much braver than me. That will always be my weakness, bro. That Michelina's fucking cheese wheels right there. Oh! oh. Alright, here it is out of the microwave, and uh, the pasta does look a little, um, a little squishy. So here's the bite I'm going to take, it's just pasta and pasta. <laughs> That's all it's in here, pasta. I'm gonna give it a four. All right, and we got a few tweets too. Andrew Tyre says, uh, you know what I'm not leaving is quarantine because I'm a responsible gamer. Good for you, Andrew. I can tell quarantine is treating you very well. Uh, Jimmy says Karens, but we all know that's not happening. They're here to stay. It, it, once an invasive species just enters the ecosystem, it's over. They're like murder hornets, but instead of invading the state of Washington, they're at every Target and Walmart store. Blake said, can we leave this guy? Ha, huh, yeah. Sure hate this guy. Let's get him out of here. Unhinged white man says, uh, my virginity, even if I have to give it to someone by force. Um, judges? <laughs> no? Yeah. I don't know about that one, Chief. Dylan, shortly before getting suspended, said, uh, Jill Stein, until 2024. That's what I'm talking about, baby! She's coming back! She's coming back! <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up the camera. DJ said, uh, Obunga? And I actually had to go back and look this up. Bro, it feels like yesterday. Obunga was 2016. What the fuck? Blake also said this shit. Yo! Shit. And Zachy said, Worms Revolution. It's the heavy hitters. John Legend seems really chill. Cool, like, you super fast. I, I had the I had the noise reduction turned on. I thought it wouldn't pick that up. Did you actually though? Yeah. What, <laughs> I heard you rip fucking ass. We also had a few stragglers who just kind of missed the format entirely. Happens every year. Oh hi, Pog. I'll try to do it. Seems like fun. Yeah. Who? Okay. And uh, False Dream, who has been publicly subscribed for two years, said fuck you. <laughs> You guys had a lot of good stuff to say, uh, and it actually kind of pisses me off a little bit because it, I feel like a lot of you are going to go into 2021 better people than you were this year, and I feel like I am a worse person than I have ever been. But on a serious note, I think a couple things I personally would like to leave behind in this year uh, would be number one, being too concerned with analytics and numbers and subscribers and comparing myself to other people on YouTube and to an extent in real life. Uh, it's something I've always struggled with. Number two kind of directly contradicts what I just said, but I'd like to hit 13k in 2021. I, I feel like I've been stuck in this 12k curse for so long. My channel hasn't really grown in over two years and you know while it's not the most important thing it would be kind of nice to get a little bit of progress you know what I mean and number three I want to work out and get back in good shape this year and self-isolation have like just ruined my motivation and my ability to just take care of myself at the beginning of the year bro I was cooking for myself I was working out every day good job Cole Champion on his shirt. He's a champion. And after about the last half of this year, I just hit a wall. I just stay inside. I just sit in my bed and watch Hulu. I actually door dashed Chipotle as I was writing this video. Sign our 2020. Go fuck yourself. Hey Swiss, you got some newest? <laughs> fuck yeah. Huh? And now it's time for the second of my favorite yearly traditions, the Photoshop contest. This year's prompt was presidential campaign posters. Let's see what you guys did. All right, so we got two submissions from Jack or Celebrity Funny Moments. We've got this beautiful kind of call to action poster. He made a custom logo that he put on both of his submissions, Perrin 2024 with Stein. I like it, it's real artistic. And then behind it, you've got a, a much bigger version of myself calling you to action. We need you. We've also got another one. I'm holding the flag, uh, but I've got a hand over my heart looking up as the, the jets race overhead. What's baffled me about this second image is how did you fuck up the quality? of the third guy in the background there. So bad. Like, I gave you a pretty high-res picture of us in the office. What did you do? <laughs> Jill Stein has not approved this message. Funding for this ad provided by some change I found at the laundromat. We got just a few of my most famous quotes. 9-11 was bad. I live and breathe in America. I'm white. <sighs> Masterpiece. Up next, we've got a submission from 
Shmiam, please subscribe. You got me looking up very hopeful into the sun. I like how you actually did place the sun in the proper spot so it's shining on my face. Jill Stein is back there behind me. We're both looking up at my beautiful face in the sun. And with the tagline, please subscribe. I think it's simple. I think it's the job done. I like it. Up next is Osiren, uh, the winner of the 2017 Photoshop contest. Here with another banger, Perrin2020. He also made me a custom logo. And you've got me riding a bald eagle to victory. This is really fucking good. I legit want to know where you got this guy and how much you manipulated him. Because the legs are kind of swinging. I'm holding a fucking assault rifle up into the sky. He's so magnificent. Magnifico. And then our fourth and final submission from Ray says, uh, Vote for Cole for a better quality poster. I mean, that really says it all, doesn't it? You want a better poster? You better vote. Shit. I love you, Jill Stian. And that's it. <laughs> Four entries, let's go. Now I said I was gonna pick three winners, but considering the fact that we only had four submissions, uh, I feel bad leaving anyone out. Uh, so everybody wins. Yeah. I'm gonna hand the $25 reward, first place prize, to Celebrity Funny Moments, the boy Jack, uh, just because he did get two submissions in, you know, A for effort. Um, but everybody else gets a $10 gift card. Amidst all this awful shit going on, I wanna thank you guys for a great 2020 on YouTube. I have made so many fun videos with my friends and with you guys that I know I'm gonna look back on and be very proud of. Uh, it's been really awesome. I feel the best about YouTube that I have in a very long time. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for dropping in. I hope you stick around next year. And for those of you that have been here since the beginning, I cannot thank you enough. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in 2021. Wait, wait, don't click off the video just yet. We've got one final special thank you to go through. I'd like to thank our channel members, Mary Catherine, and Sibi. thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you, the viewer, would like to become a channel member, it's super easy. You hit that little join button next to the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, you should hit it too. And you can sign up for the peanut gallery. Uh, that's it though. Bye. Ocean in a different skin. I guess I'm just a different kid. Living on my own time. It's me just in the maritime. Trust issues, but no regrets. I ain't got time for cigarettes. People say that they don't know me. I don't even fucking know me. Living flown, that's all my life. I don't want no fucking.